Hey, 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 how y'all doing? Oh my god. Welcome back to my channel, guys, and thank you so much for being here. If you're new, what is up? My name's Zing, what you saying? In today's video, if you saw my previous video, well, actually not my previous video, my previous, previous video, I hinted to you guys that I'm gonna be doing a full face first impression of Jeffree Star Cosmetic. Oh shit. <laughs> I've never tried Jeffree Star Cosmetics ever. I know, I'm super late to the game. I just, I did just, there's just a lot of makeup to play around with and Jeffree Star Cosmetics has always been on my list to try out his products, but let's face it, it's a little controversial. I just wanna let you guys know that I am judging Jeffree Star Cosmetics, not Jeffree Star as a person because I don't know him. I have no right to judge him. And yeah, I just wanna be very respectful about that and I wanna make that very clear in the video as well. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. I'm really excited to try out his products. I bought everything by the way. I didn't get it sent through PR or anything. I just bought it all because when I saw his concealers, I was like, okay, it's time for me to finally test out his products because I'm a concealer hoe. I have a drawer full of concealers because concealers to me is like a necessity. Like I prefer concealer over foundation. So when I saw these launch, I was like, I have to get them and the packaging is so cute. Okay, anyway, anyway, let's just begin. So the first I'm gonna do is prime the skin. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip. This is the only primer that doesn't mess up my base. All the other primers that I have tried has messed up my foundation. This is the only primer that makes my foundation look flawless. Asian style, you know? tap that product in. If you follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I do a lot of Instagram mini make tutorials and I post a lot of pictures on there as well. I'm very active. And if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, then you know that I review the Givenchy foundation. Uh, I review this out of my own discretion. Givenchy didn't pay me to promote or anything. Just want to make that clear. I love this foundation. I think it's so bomb and their concealer's bomb as well, but that's a another video. Look at that. Time to play with the concealers now. Now, usually I love to use the either Born This Way concealer or the Fenty concealer. So those two are like my favorite go-to concealers. So I'm very intrigued how this is. So I read some facts online. It's got 20% pigment in there, which is quite pigmented. So if you guys don't know what 20% pigment means, it means that it's quite full coverage. Usually foundations and concealers, there's like a certain amount of percentage of how much it can cover and correct your skin tone. For example, the V she foundation does like very high coverage. I think there's like 50% or 40% coverage. Very full coverage and it's alleged that it's able to cover tattoos as well, which I find so crazy, but I find that so cool. So first thing first, packaging is so adorable. I love it. I really, really live for it. I love how it's pink. I love how it's got a little star at the top as well. It gives me Sailor Moon vibes. It really reminds me of when I was a little kid because I am a massive fan of anime. If you guys know me, you know, I'm a anime nerd. So the packaging, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite luxe. This is the only concealer that stands out compared to all my other concealers because all my other concealers got like a plain black lid or it's got a plain white lid or it's just got a plain silver lid. Like it's just very plain. This is the only one that's got a very fun looking vibe and I love it. And if you're a professional makeup artist, you used to have this in your kit, it would just stand out and people would be like, what's this? It looks like a wand. So um, yeah, I find that really cool. So let's open her up. Oh my God. Oh, so this is a dope fit applicator. She is a heart shaped type of thing with a very pointy end. So this dope fit applicator, it can pick up a lot of products. So this is supposed to be enough for like all over your face. So I'm just gonna try her. Oh, she's yellow. Oh, oh AF. Ah! If you guys are wondering how I choose my shades, I honestly just choose anything and just pray. Uh, okay, let's just keep going on. Oh my gosh, she is so yellow. Oh my god. She looks white on camera, but she's yellow in person, yo. I really love the Dope Fit Applicator. Usually Dope Fit Applicator comes in this type of form. Not a bad thing. But I really like how this just kind of just distributes all over my eyes. I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this out. I'm just going to do one eye and just see the comparison. She's not oxidizing, which is a good thing. I'm kind of putting her over my top eyelid as well. And voila. Okay, she don't look that crazy, but mm, okay. I am truly highlighted. Oh my god, guys. This is... Oh! 
wow was not expecting that this is really really nice to me anyway um you guys might not like it but i love it i love a full coverage concealer because that is just my style of makeup and you know she's looking a little crazy right now but after i contour and after i put on the eyeshadow and so on and so on and so on it will look good like the process of doing your makeup is always scary and ugly but towards the end snatched honey okay so i'm going to compare it to the fenty concealer because i love this concealer so much and this is in the shade 290 just in case you use me as a reference she's a little bit more neutral rather than super yellowy compared to the jeffree star one this don't fit applicator is also amazing as well but i do prefer the jeffree star one only because i think it's in a pointy end so it's able to just really like smooth everything over okay so just a reminder this is 20 percent pigment i searched high and low to figure out what pigment percentage this concealer is and I can't seem to find it so if anybody knows can you please comment down below that would mean so much to me and that will help the community out to compare the two concealers this one looks way more natural and it just melts into my skin so much better and also this is like the perfect shade for me this is a little bit too light however however though however though, this is why I love concealers with concealers you can manipulate them whilst you contour when you apply the rest of your makeup on this has way more pigment and i'm living let's just leave it as that okay so now we're gonna go in with the contour shade this is in the shade c22 Ooh. oh yeah i think this is gonna be the right contour shade for me she is super pigmented as well so i'm trying my best not to put too much on i'm gonna use the morphe 3 6 brush to blend her out oh she blends out nice i'm just gonna use the remaining concealer for my forehead to contour with only because it's a very pigmented concealer and i don't want to like overload my face with too much concealer even though i'm such a huge fan of it she does set quickly i will tell you that and just looking close up zooming you guys in i don't know if you guys can tell I do have acne scars, so I do have a lot of dents in my skin, so let's just ignore that. It's definitely like cancelled the colouring underneath my eyes, and it's definitely really covered and concealed my under eyes. And I feel like if you're not a powder girl, if you're gonna get this concealer, you definitely don't need too much powder to set it. I know when Jeffree Star released his concealers, he also released the powders as well, which I got. Don't worry, girl, I got the powder too. I just feel like because it sets quite matte, you probably don't need to. To bake you probably just need to brush over a little bit of powder i felt a little bit awkward having one side of my face much more bright than the other side so i went ahead and just you know evened it out i really like the concealers it is a little bit too thick for my skin type i definitely need to perfect my skin in order for my skin to handle these types of concealers because it is very full coverage when it sets it sets quite matte and i'm old <laughs> so it kind of sits in places where it shouldn't be sitting i feel like as i'm filming the video it's actually slowly looking a little cakey it almost looks kind of airbrushed which is really bizarre i don't know if it's because the concealer is just not matching with the foundation because some concealers they don't work with some foundations for example the Givenchy foundation that i'm wearing it comes with concealers with it so them two work really Really, really well together and it actually makes my skin look so beautiful as for this concealer if jeffree star also released his foundation line which i'm pretty sure he will very soon i feel like this concealer would match very well with his foundation so just a little makeup tip just in case you guys are wondering why this concealer is not working with this foundation or why this foundation is not working with this concealer is because some foundation concealers are just not compatible with each other i'm just going to carry on and set it and hopefully it looks a little bit better it's so weird because as soon as i put it on it looks good but as I'm filming it's kind of looking a little bit cakey and it's kind of bringing out my flaws a little bit unfortunately so the powder that I'm using is in the shade banana first thing first wow packaging stunning I love it when brands have beautiful packaging it just makes like it just feels like it's worth the money as well as the product itself huh I'm confused so my powder kind of came a little bit messy um this is my first time opening up guys i promise you it's my first time opening up let me just like twist her so you guys can see the sticker look at that that's my first time opening her up and she kind of exploded so definitely be careful when you get the powder <laughs> Oh, she is easy to peel off though, I'll tell you that. So I got the shade Banana, which I don't think is my shade for this concealer. I feel like this will be good for an all-over 
setter. I'm going to use the It Cosmetic Tulip Shape type of brush to pick up the powder. And the reason why is because it's quite pointy at the tip, so it's able to really get in. Oh my god, I'm so scared, guys. Okay, I'm only picking up a little bit, but I'm going to tap off loads because I want to start small and then build up. One thing I learned about makeup is that you want to start off small and then slowly build up, build up, build up, build up, build up until you're happy with what you're working with. Okay, I'm clearly not baking. <laughs> Let me just try pack a little bit more on. There's a slight smell. It smells like biscuits, which is not a bad thing. It's not punching me in the face. You know how like some products where it's like highly fragrant, it's like punching you in the face because the smell is so strong. This one isn't that bad. I don't like to bake for too long. I like to just put the powder underneath my eyes for about a couple of seconds and that's me done. So the shade Benan, it has definitely darkened the concealer just a little bit more. However though, do I like it? <gasps> Let me just carry on. Let me just like set my whole entire face. I'm gonna set this side of my face and not bake it. I'm just gonna like literally go in with the powder. Let me just do this live on camera. Literally gonna go in, tap, tap, tap. Not a lot, right? That's not a lot of product, it's just a little bit. And I'm just gonna gently go over areas of my face that I get quite oily and that I wanna set as well. So that is my T-zone, my jawline, my eyelids. Zooming you guys in so you can see everything. I don't like it and I don't hate it. I just have a very neutral feeling about my base. I feel like maybe I just need to work a bit more on my skin and then try out the products again and just see how I feel because I don't think my skin can handle the base products. Oh, oh my God, it's breaking. No, I don't want it to break. I don't know if you guys can see, but my nose, it looks really like crusty. Ah! No! No! No, I didn't want this to happen. The foundation on my nose wasn't breaking until I put the powder on. So... Powder's not for me, but I will give it a second chance, just not right now. So I went ahead and bronzed my skin using the JLo Times Inglot Bronzer. Oh my god, obsessed with this bronzer. Uh, I just felt like I just needed to set the contour. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of the powder with this brush just a little bit and it actually looks much better i think the reason why you know it's not looking that great is because one banana is just not my shade to bake with however just to put over my face it's fine so yeah just wanted to clarify all of that uh, my skin doesn't look the best still unfortunately so i'm just gonna carry on and yeah just gonna carry on because that's 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 what us youtubers have to do <laughs> this i'm very excited for because this is what he is known for Highlighter. So this is the Skin Frost in Siberian Gold. Whoa. Oh my God, I love the mirror. It goes all the way back as well. So I can really like see myself close up. So this is what she looks like. Let's do a little swatch. Ooh, she feels really nice and creamy. So if you're trying to judge a product by the texture, what you want to do is you want to pick it up with your finger and kind of just like rub it between your fingers and you can kind of feel the creaminess or whether it's a bit too dry. And this feels really really creamy which I really really like here is the swatch wow okay bit chunky with a finger swatch but let's see how she is with a brush I see a lot of people use brushes when they use Jeffree Star skin frost highlighters Just picked her up with a little bit of a fluffy brush oh damn okay was not expecting that hello whoa oh my god Ooh. Ooh. Girl, girl, girl. I swear, highlighters always saves the base makeup. If your base makeup is messing up, highlighters can really save it because it just like, you know, the focus is on here, not on here. Oh my God, love. Yes, yes. Oh my God, oh my God. The more I look at myself, I'm like, <laughs> Hi, okay, future Ling here, what's up guys? So, I screwed up and so did my mic and I'm really sorry that this whole entire video looks unprofessional and you're thinking, what the fuck is going on? Basically, as I was halfway through filming my Jeffree Star video, my mic decided to just shut off. I don't know why, I'm gonna look into it, I'm gonna make sure that this does not happen again because the last thing I wanna do is film and look like this. <laughs> so, this is what I look like on a daily basis. I don't always look glam, 
compared to my Instagram. This is my fashion right now, guys. This is so funny, right? I got a grandpa jumper on, grandma DJ bottoms on. Oh yes, go me with fashion. <laughs> and then on top of that, I've got my Asian circle lenses as well because you know, I've got to represent. I asked you guys on Instagram if it was okay if I did a voiceover over the footages where there's like lost audio. And a lot of you said yes. Thank you so much for saying yes because if a lot of you guys said no, then that means I had to refilm it. So I really appreciate your guys' support in this because I'm sure a lot of you guys know how long it takes to film a YouTube video and how long it takes to edit as well. I've got the products in front of me that way I can show you guys the pros and the cons of each of these products. So starting off the highlighter. Now the highlighter is good, but there is a but. <laughs> and that is there is a lot of fall. When you swatch it and when you put it on your hand, you know, the, it does seem a bit chunky and it's still really cute. And you know, there's a lot of texture and a lot of pigment in there as well, which I really like and it's super buttery. However, when you go ahead, let me just get a brush. I don't know what it is, but when you like pick up this product with a brush and you go ahead and kind of just like, you know, blend it into the skin, a lot of fall comes out. I don't know if you can see the little particles that's kind of like fluffing out. All of that drops and it drops in the places that I don't like. Now, some highlighters don't do that. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see like particles of the highlighters over here? So there's particles of highlighters over here and that's what happened on my face. Now even though it's a beautiful blinding highlighter, as you can see, that is the swatch from the brush and it's blended out. It just falls and it's just really annoying because I don't want highlighter fall all over my face. And I've seen so many people use a brush when it comes to using this highlighter and I feel like the best way to apply this highlighter would be through a sponge. I think the best thing to do now I know this is a very dirty beauty blender. I think the best thing to do is just to pick up the product and kind of just tap it into the skin. I think that's the best thing to do because then there's less fall. But it's not the same results though. So even though this highlighter is beautiful and it is blinding and it is gorgeous and you know the texture is buttery and creamy, it's not the best highlighter. I've tried better highlighters. I've tried highlighters from Ciate and they're really good. I've tried highlighters from MUA Cosmetics. You know, those two are drugstore brands and it doesn't have this type of effect. So I like this highlighter and yes, it did shook me. Okay, you guys saw how shook I was, but it's not the type of highlighter I would buy again, unfortunately, so. All right, so now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. So I used the Thirsty eyeshadow palette and it's a very good palette and I can't wait to actually play around with this palette. I do find that a lot of these shadows are very easy to work with. Some of these shades over here, they do need more packing on. It's not as pigmented as some people make it out it is. I've tried much more pigmented eyeshadows, for example, NARS. A lot of their eyeshadows are really pigmented and really buttery. Too Faced eyeshadow palettes are really good. There's a lot of pigment in there. I feel like nowadays, MAC eyeshadow palettes, they're really good. There's a lot of creaminess and pigment in there. And when you put your brush in the eyeshadow and you put it onto your eyes, I'm not talking about Jeffree Star, I'm talking about the brands that I just mentioned. It's just very easy to work with. As for the Jeffree Star, Thirsty palette, even though it's a decent palette, I feel like it could have been done a little bit better. I'm not, you know, someone who knows how to make makeup. I really don't, but I am a consumer and I will compare other eyeshadow palettes to other eyeshadow palettes and I will go for the eyeshadow palettes that has more pigment, easier to work with, easier to blend rather than an eyeshadow palette where it takes me ages to pack on and build up the pigment. Now these shadows up here are really good. Uh, the yellow eyeshadow is not my favourite. I've tried better. My favourite yellow eyeshadow is from the Adeline Morin Times Tarte palette. I feel like that yellow is so good. She knew how to make a good yellow because she is a yellow enthusiast and I felt like that was the best yellow eyeshadow I've tried compared to Morphe, compared to Tarte, compa compared to Tarte, compared to Morphe, compared to Too Faced, that's what I was meant to say, compared to MAC, compared to Make It Revolution, the Adeline Times Tarte eyeshadow palette that has like the best yellow in there. So if you're looking for a beautiful yellow eyeshadow along with lovely warm tones, that's a really good eyeshadow palette. These, oh my god, these are stunning. This selection, oh my god so 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 buttery so easy to work with oh my god look at that silver there's not that many eyeshadow palettes that has silver in there and this is a beautiful silver it's definitely perfect for a cut crease sometimes when people do a cut crease they have to use a concealer as for this silver you can just go ahead and do a cut crease and you don't need a concealer yeah so these shadows up here amazing 
honestly. Now, when I put these eyeshadows on, I usually don't use an eyeshadow primer, so I definitely do need to play around with this a little bit more. Because this is a first impression makeup tutorial, I definitely feel like your mind can change in the future. There's been so many products in the past that I've tried that I didn't like the first time around, but after figuring out how to use it properly, I ended up loving it. So I'm definitely gonna be playing around with this palette a little bit more that way I can figure out, you know, what eyeshadow primer works well with this eyeshadow palette, what foundations work well with the Jeffree Star concealer. Even though it's a very good concealer, as soon as I put it on, it did just go a little bit cakey and weird towards the end, and it's just, it's just, it's just annoying. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna be doing an updated video on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is not the end. And then I'm gonna do more reviews on his brand. After the concealer and the bacon, I did go ahead and use the Yves Saint Laurent setting spray and this actually made my whole entire face makeup worse. I don't know what happened. Maybe the spray doesn't go with the powder. Some sprays are like that, but it's been a very long time since I've used a spray that ruined my base makeup. Like when I first started doing makeup, I didn't really understand setting sprays because I find that it just made my skin look wet and weird. But now that I understand how to use setting sprays and when's the right time to use it and using the right amount of setting spray, I find that my base makeup looks so much better but for some reason when I use this on top of you know the Jeffree Star powder and the concealer it just didn't work well and it just really frustrated me so I definitely need to play around with his products more. I'm pretty sure they are good because I've seen so many people use and it looks so good on them and I really want these products to work for me because I paid for them and it's like you know I want to be a happy customer and be happy with the products that I bought. The liquid lipsticks. Oh my god guys this the, the, I can't even talk right now because I'm so excited. These liquid lipsticks are so good. When I first tried them on, and I wish my mic picked up my expression and what I said exactly, because I can't remember what I said, but I just remember the feeling of the liquid lipsticks. I remember them feeling super lightweight, and even though they dried matte, they didn't dry up my lips. Now, I suffer from really, really dry, dehydrated lips, and I have to wear lip balm like literally every like few hours in the day. That's how dry my lips are. So I was a bit skeptical when putting on these liquid lipsticks, not Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks in particular, just liquid lipsticks in general. I do love them, but I don't gravitate towards them when it comes to doing my makeup on a daily basis. I like to wear glosses because they're hydrating. But if I ever have like a really long day where I know I don't have time to touch up my makeup, I will go for liquid lipsticks. And I will say that when I do do my makeup and I have a very long day and I don't have time to touch up my makeup, I would definitely be grabbing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. They are so lightweight. They are so thin on their lips as well. It doesn't feel like heavy. It doesn't feel sticky. When you press your lips together after they dry, they just feel so good. It's just a good quality liquid lipstick. And it's been a while since I've tried a really good liquid lipstick since Huda Beauty. Like I love the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks and I love the Fenty Beauty lip stunners as well. I feel like those two are like the best quality liquid lipsticks for me and for my um, lips as well because again, they're super dry. These are just so good. It's just the quality is really bomb and I feel like when everyone says Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are good, they really do mean it. As for the other products, unfortunately, I still need to play around with them and figure out why they do not work for me. I think that is it. I think I covered everything and I hope my mic picked up everything that I said. Thank you so much for sitting around watching this crazy ass video of me and yeah. If you like this video, which I really hope you did like this video, even though it's like, you know, not even that professional, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and please click the bell button as well. It means so much to me if you guys join the dumpling family because you know, I do these videos for you guys. <laughs> if you want to see more of me, don't forget to check out my other videos. You know, there's one here and then there's one here as well. Which one are you going to choose? Which one? I will see you in the next video, guys. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>